How's it hanging fellow Sam Motors and this is another episode of Phoenix Friday's Attorney and in today's episode we are going to investigate Chief Gant who is the chief of police office. Holy shit, his office looks as stupid as I imagined it to look. Oh, they were totally fucking on these organs. Why would he have organs like that? Police department chief's office, what is this, a church? Oh, what explains his stupid theme song. Well, where the fuck am I? How did I fucking got here? I just, like, teleported. In the chief's office, dumbass. At least that's what it said on the door. What fucking door? I was just in the chief of detectives place. Check out that pipe organ. That's real shit, isn't it? I used to take organ lessons in kindergarten. I used to be bullied in kindergarten. She used to call me Little Miss Bitch. I thought it was... A... I thought it was a thing. I never could remember where C was. Hmm. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's you assholes. She can't. He put the paper he was reading on his desk. So, Ryder, have you been swimming lately? Swimming neck deep in shit, I have. No, I haven't. I've been kind of busy. I can't appreciate that. I've had my hands full too with Mr. Marshall's misconduct. A lot of provocative statement. Provocative statement? I mean, about the forged evidence? Two years have passed since that incident. My, how time flies. See that big ass picture over the wall over there? That's the picture I was talking about last episode. Look how depressed Lana looks for some reason. Also, look, it's the jar. It's the unstable jar. It's right in the background, still being unstable. It's an emotionally unstable jar. It's a picture of Lana, Neil, and me. I'm on the left, in case you couldn't tell. So this is Mr. Marshall's brother, Prosecutor Neil Marshall. We have seen this before. Also, I would like you to notice how... ...given to Edgeworth, King of Prosecutor at the PD on the day of the murder. It appears to be broken, or at least that's what some characters have claimed, right? That it's broken. But if you look at Neil's version, the shield isn't broken, but there's like a there's like a dagger on it that the ones we have doesn't have a dagger. But the shield stays the same. It has like a piece missing. It's one of it's almost like a hop hop lead or whatever the fuck they're called shield, where they kind of have an opening for the spear. So this is Mr. Marshall's brother. Took it to the com commemorate our work together. He looks just like a cowboy. He looks like a business cowboy, though. Something not right with this picture. I can't quite seem to put my finger on it, though. I'll do it for you. Also, there's like a. There's a. Oh, wait a minute. There's a. A fucking golden knight standing on the side of the picture. Couldn't he fucking move a little bit? What an asshole. Guess when you're on fucking guard duty, you have to stand as still as the Queen Elizabeth's guards in England or some shit. A lot of people seem to not know that fucking Norway still has a monarchy. They have a king. Just like England. People assume that it's only England that still has monarchy like a bunch of idiots. Can quite seem to put my finger on it though. Why would you have a royal family to fucking need that shit for? Nothing. The fucking yeah, eyelash stuck in my goddamn eye. Gotta take my eye out, clean it up, put it back in. Put it back in, but it's always the hardest. Get a bunch of eyelashes stuck on it. Photo of the awards ceremony of Gant, Lana, and Neil. That's the armor set right there. We'll have to ask him some questions. Anyway, I like to reminisce all day, but there's are matters that need my attention. Gotta look look up here, so let's get the fuck out of here. But this office it was a crime scene two years ago, wasn't it? 
That case has long since been over. There's no need to investigate it anymore. Same, I'd still like to have a look around. Perhaps it didn't fucking hear me. I said get the fuck out of my sight. Now hurry up and get out. I have a meeting at the Twitter. I have to squeeze one out real fucking bad. Looks like we aren't welcome. Seems our case isn't over with yet. After all. What do you mean? Chief can't deny the request to search the crime scene. That means there must be a reason he doesn't want us looking around in there. You mean like a clue? Clue though. It's got to be a way we can get inside the chief's office. How about we just kind of force our way into it like we did? Hey Gumshoe, what's up? Hey pal. Like the Gumshoe, aren't you supposed to be in the meeting? Hey, uh, just taking a breather. My feet hurt. From sitting so long? Actually, from serving everyone coffee. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe is still out on the loop. Out of the loop. Say, have either of you seen Mr. Edgeworth? Edgeworth? No? Why do you ask? He's under fire from both the police department and the prosecutor's office. Probably fled the country by now. It's almost like the battles between two... You two in court. That sounds stupid. Uh, because of what my sister said? That's basically what it all boils down to. That falsified evidence two years ago. Now Mr. Edgeworth has the whole world after his blood. Yikes. Yikes. Oh, I'm so fucking tired. I wasn't... I don't think I've been working out for like two weeks at this point. I just... I don't have the fucking energy for it. Why would Edgeworth be blamed? It's not like he knew the evidence was forged. Oh, this guy's guilty party here, isn't she? Regardless, the prosecutor is responsible for the evidence they present in court. Not only that. But as you know, there's been a lot of rumors going around about Mr. Edgeworth. His amazing talent as a prosecutor kept him safe from who... Those who don't like him. But now with this, after the, are there really so many people who hate him? Yeah, I fucking hate him. In a world the only, only those with talent rise to the top is the Edgeworth. Not only has that, but he's young. It's no better recipe I know for making enemies. Hey, Dick, keep up the good work, Dick. Yes, sir. Let's go out for lunch again sometime. My treat. Yes, sir. You gotta take me back to the joint sometime, okay, Dick? Yes, sir. You don't have any have any problems with enemies. Yeah, well, I'm careful not to stick out. That's a good quality, you know. I do that at work, and I don't think anybody at work hates me. Just the day they kind of pissed me off, but whatever. Anyway, I'm a bit worried about him. Under all this pressure, I'm afraid Mr. Edwards just might crack. His name is Richard Gumshoe. Also, why the fuck on earth? I was always, I was always fucking confused by that. Why is the short for Richard Dick? It makes no fucking sense. It should be Rich or Rick, not Dick. That makes no fucking sense. It's for Junior and self-styled scientific investigator. I forgot to read people's descriptions. There could be some clues. That's the chief of police. Possibly he might not seem it, he's top dog and PD. The victim and a good man. The trollman with general affairs suspected of killing good men in the evidence room. Joe Dark at the seas. Look at him. As dark as the night. Serial killer responsible for the SL9 incident two years ago was given a death penalty. Prosecutor murdered two years ago in the SL9 incident, Jake Marshall's brother. He's 65 and he's fucking this girl? Oh man. Fucking Silver Fox. Under all this pressure, I'm afraid Mr. Edward just might crack. 
I'm gonna fucking crack. I mean, do crack. Actually, I took a little... I took a look at the file earlier where the coffee was brewing. I'm genuinely concerned for Edgeworth. Well, did you find out anything? The only evidence Doctor left behind was during his final attack. His final attack? You mean... He killed Prosecutor Marshall, who was trying to protect some girl. Some stupid bitch. Me. I think Detective Gumshoe never realized Emma was the girl. That's why he left the most incriminating evidence of all. Well, what was it? Um, let's see. I think it had something to do with the murder weapon? Oh, I forget. Look, it's all written somewhere in here, okay? The powers of recollection never fails to impress. Maybe we should show him the murder weapon. I jog his memory. Good idea. Joe Darker was 42 at the time of the crime. He was just your run-of-the-mill businessman. Businessman? What made him take a take the serial killing? I don't know. That's his business. He was dealing with killing people. <laughs> One day of his way from work, he hit someone with his car. With his car, so it was an accident. An accident, yes, but it transformed him into an animal. An animal? He took out a knife and killed the dead man. Killed a man. A kid walked by just then, but killed him too. A jogger came up and he fucking killed him too. Turned himself in. He was pretty careless. Like a pretty careless animal. Of course, this is all conjecture. It wasn't a single shred of evidence. So he turned himself in. Yes, but in the middle of his questioning, he fled and murdered his final victim. Oh, so that's how it went down. Hold on, let me see that fucking file. So he killed a guy with a car. Then he killed a witness to it, killed a kid, killed a jogger, I guess I must, I must have missed something. Rachel Moss, maybe he killed his wife too. And then finally he killed Neil. So it all happened in a very quick succession. So it's not like Joe Darker was some kind of a notorious serial killer who killed people over the years. No, he just kind of in one day killed a bunch of people. Because he hit someone with a car, killed someone after that, killed another person, and another person, and another person, and then he killed Neil Marshall. Well, I see how it is. Yes, but in the middle of his questioning, he fled and murdered the final victim. Me. Prosecutor Marshall. A crime was witnessed by someone too, but luckily Dark was arrested on the spot. It's a good thing, at last... The witness wasn't killed. That last witness, aka Emma. Show him everything. That's the picture. I got it. That's evidence. That's nice. I can take thumbnails off of it whenever I feel like it. I'm just gonna make every thumbnail the same. That would probably be much, much more efficient, but it would look much more boring. Oh my back, it's fucking killing me. I'm old. I'm dying. I'm tired. I'm tired, boss. I just wanna go to sleep. But when I go to sleep, an entire night passes, and then I wake up. It's just fucking... I think I'm tired of just fucking living. Gotta go to work, come back, eat something, record let's plays, go to sleep and go to work till I die. <laughs> we'll make those damn let's plays till I fucking die. I'm gonna share a little advice with you as a detective. If you don't have a clue, keep your trap shut. Sheesh, what an asshole, am I right? Fuck. Presentation to think people are accusing him of injustice. I for one I ain't buying it, pal. Looking into the case for Mr. Edgeworth? Yeah, it was a pretty big deal what was going on, you know. After all, a 
the girl appeared over us on the loose. Lana was pretty clear in her confession. She forced evidence in order to prove Joe Dark guilty. Did she need it to though? I he, he turned himself in, he pretty much was about to confess everything. What evidence did you need it to get him fucking killed? I'm sure a little advice. Can't believe Officer Marshall. You know Officer Marshall? Of course I do. He was like a mentor to me. When I first started out, he even gave me a small cactus. Really? I said Dick, she'll listen to all your troubles. Not to sell Detective Gumshoe talks to a cactus. I don't believe he's just a patrolman now. Someone had to trade places with him. Why, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> That's kind of cool. Give some depth to... Give some depth to um, Jake. Jake the Snake. About that jar. I think it's... I've seen it before somewhere. Somewhere? Or maybe it's one of those memories people have from previous lives. What? This must be the most uninformative detective I've ever fucking met. Right behind Jake. Something about it makes me feel uneasy. It's like I'm in the chief's office and he's yelling at me. Chief Gant. How could I have seen that before? You no know, lock can be opened without a fingerprint match. Besides, there's no reason for the murderer to touch his own locker. Hey, wasn't your locker on the one with the blood on it? A handprint of the real murderer to gloved hand without any fingerprints. They came to arrest me, you'll defend me, won't you? Oh, and you know who wears gloves all the goddamn time? murderer, I just know it. Also, I doubt they're gonna introduce any new characters who will turn out to be the actual killers. If that happens, I think you'll do better pleading with Edgeworth. Nice ah, shit. Calling Circle does a lot better job than keep mashing on the X button because you can accidentally go into an investigation. Oh look, an item report, huh? You're impressive detective, you knew it was right off the bat. Well, I am a master of misplacement, you know? Master? That's such a cool ring to it. Master of disaster. The way I see it, if things are meant to be lost, then they're meant to be lost. It's a higher power at work here. Just like... Just like me sometimes, you know, when something horrible happens, I'm just like, well, it had to have happened. Couldn't have been any other way, it's just how our world is going to be, and it had to be this way. It is what it is, pretty much. Wow, higher power, maybe I shouldn't let Emma hold any evidence. My boot though, watch over us. And that powder used for detective fingerprints. Yeah, Mr. Edgeworth gave it to us. What? All I have is some flour. Are you okay, detective? Quick run. If it's any help, one time I took a nap on the bench with wood paint. Well, I'm not comfort comforted. One time I, ah, uh, fuck, I kneeled, I uh, kind of, not kneeled, fucking leaned against the painted ball and fucked up my shirt. That was a much more common joke. Ah, oh, fuck. I, don't, I haven't really heard anyone bring that up as an idea, sitting on a painted bench. Actually, I think I fucked up my pants one time too like that, because... I sat on like a newly painted bench. Guess it does happen. What? Oh fuck, I forgot. That's the ID card record, isn't it? Now who 
two sevens. There's only one number left to investigate at Blaze it PM. The detective Goodman must have entered the evidence room along with someone else. Someone with an executive officer number. Oh, I get it at 420. 77777. It's seven, seven, seven. one seven too many detective. An executive officer? I just might have a hunch. I just bought some of that stuff. Now I can go around detecting blood traces too. Oh, well, his is different than ours. Ours is like blue with some bullshit on it. His is like all silver. Wow, is that a new type? I've never seen that bottle before. Add three inches to your base to your base height. Base height. Let me see that. Looming tall. New and improved growth formula. Enlarge your penis in one day. You mean you can detect any blood traces? Uh, well, it's not quite the same thing as luminol. That's why the lady at the counter had the smirk on her face. What a bitch. About this. Hey, is that... It has a tag attached to it with the label SL9 incident on it. Only says SL9. No incident. Or this would be the broken murder weapon you were speaking of. What are you doing with that? Ever since that case was closed, knife's been locked away in a locker. On the day Detective Goodman was murdered, this suddenly disappeared from the locker. And it was found in Mr. Zedgeworth's card muffler. Exhaust pipe. That's it. I fucking can't take it anymore. Look at my chest, it's about to explode. Now I remember what the incriminating piece of evidence was. When you showed me that knife, it all came back to me. Remember when my father used to burn me with a heated knife? Well, what is it, detective? Quick, before you forget about it. Shoe. Picture. If you can tell us about it, that uh, Mrs. Star is quite the lady. If I remember, it was winter. I was 16. She was the only one who ever got, ever got me to talk about what happened. Scene? That's how old I am now. I wonder what happened. One of the detective Gumshoe were at range in high school too. Wait, what is he talking about? That Miss Star is quite the lady. Why well, I remember it was winter, I was 16. She was the only one who would ever who ever got me to talk about what happened. What happened? What happened when Gumshoe was 16? What is he fucking talking about? Let me share a little advice with you. Ah, oh, fuck this. I've got to check every single fucking thing. This guy almost made us lose the case today. What are you talking about? He was guarding the blood stain of the evidence locker with his life. What you can say about most officers nowadays. It has saved us a lot of trouble if he can guard it so well. I have to admit, he's right though. Thanks to the Blue Badger, we were able to prove another possible possibility today. <laughs> it looks like possibility today, smiley face. <laughs> possibility that another murder took place prior to 5.15. Found in mid of blah blah blah, killed with a knife. What a bummer. We fucking heard all that. I say the guard. Alright, you repeat yourself. Tell us about the murder weapon. This knife. It was Joe Darker, wasn't it? That's right. We'll trace it back to the store he bought it at. Plus, it had his fingerprints on it, too. No one actually witnessed him using it to murder anyone, right? That's where his luck ran out. When you take a good look at the knife, we'll see it's broken. You have to take a good look to notice that. 
Maybe it's a type of blade. A broken type. Yeah, well, anyway. Like a bottle opener. I guess where the broken off tip of the knife was found. That's what did you mean? What was it? The victim, Neil Marshall, was carrying it inside his own body. Up his ass. It was found deep inside his ass. Did it match dark as a knife? Uh, more or less. It was close enough, but down to the last fiber. That's pretty conclusive. A lot of see report added to the court record. Switchblade dive updated to the court record. The broken tip was found inside. Fucking guy. Well, there you are, have it in a nutshell. That's all I know. Can I ask you one more thing? The fuck you want. If it's money you need, you should ask Chief Gant. It's not money, but it does concern the Chief. His office is a crime scene, right? Prosecutor near Marshall was murdered. Chief's out now and his office is locked. But we'd like to have a look around if that's okay. That's okay. Well, I expect his ID card can unlock the door. What, really? Then we can unlock it ourselves if we have Goodman's ID card. But if I let a civilian in there, I'd be charged with break breach of trust. Breach of trust? Simply put, I'd be canned. Oh. Well, we don't really give a shit. Let us in, motherfucker. Sorry, pal. I don't plan on getting fired because of you. How about we use this ID card? It was Detective Goodman's. That won't work either. The data was deleted the day that he died. What do you mean the day he died? It wasn't deleted. I could have opened some other shit with that card. I think. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I opened anything with his card. So in other words, Gumshoe is our only chance of getting into that office. We gotta steal his fucking card, which he loses all the time. I wonder if there's something we could show him that would make him change his mind. Gumshoe's pretty cool, I don't know. It's like he's a goofball, but kinda, kinda cool in a way. Get his moments. Show him something that would change his mind? I already fucking shown him everything. Oh, I got a new thing. New autopsy report. Stabbed in the back, died from a punctured heart in a lung. A knife that was found in the wound. 27 male. Date and time of death, February 19th, between whatever the fuck. Cause of death, single stab wound. Assessment died from blood loss in another 10 minutes. Weapon found was missing a tip. The tip culture of the West is just absolutely pathetic, if you ask me. Just fucking pay your waiters, good lord. Or delivery people. Fucking greedy sons of bitches. Tips shouldn't be a thing. That's why I never fucking tip the delivery man. He gets his fucking salary where I live. Doesn't need more from me. Doesn't have to fucking beg for money. What about the award ceremony of Gant? Lana and Theo. Holy shit. How long is this fucking episode? What am I supposed to show him? I'll just show him everything.
I have no idea. I don't know, I'm so fucking showing him everything. What am I meant to do? Well, that was literally the last thing I could have shown him. I have no idea. What if we leave? Oh, that's nothing. Oh, alright. Guess I gotta get something from Edgeworth. Maybe I can convince Edgeworth to write an official report telling Gumshit to let me into the office. Then he'd let me in. Or maybe not. Maybe he'll be a dick. Who knows? Can I save on the screen? Yeah, I can. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.